there is an almost effortless way to propel your life in the right direction all through the year. Many pay attention to making changes but don't look at what it takes to continue on that path. We all desire to have a truly amazing year and here is how to make it happen. You can walk with God all through the year. One of the easiest ways to walk with God is to speak His word over your life. God's word is powerful and it is life. Your tongue is also a powerful God-given tool that can be used to chart the course of your life. You can speak life or death over yourself, Proverbs 18:21. God says we will have whatsoever we say, Numbers 14:28, Mark 11:23. With God you can have a plan and stay the course till your goals are reached, missions accomplished and your purposes fulfilled. This will happen when you intentionally, practically and continually make God your source of strength. He never grows weary or faint. Isaiah 40:28-31 says, "Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength." They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. There is healing for the sick, clarity for the confused, freedom from every chain. Every terrible habit can be broken and every troubled marriage can be restored. There is hope for the hopeless, deliverance for those oppressed, direction and wisdom for those who want to get things right and keep forging forward in life. Below is a scriptural declaration you can begin to make as part of what will make this year be a dream come true. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Scriptural declaration, declare this out loud. I truly desire for this to be an amazing year by all means. I don't want to be held down in my past, I desire a new beginning. I want to have a fresh start and have a successful race this year. So I ask you Lord help me. I refuse to lean on myself but on you. I don't want to trust in myself, my energy and capabilities. Show me how to trust you Jesus. Help me not to be afraid when I am weak but to remember that your strength is made perfect in my weakness so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Since I am a child of God, 2 Corinthians 12:7. Whenever I don't know what to do, help me to remember that you know all things and will give me the revelation of what to do because you love me unconditionally. I strongly desire to trust you with all my heart. So help me to have a better relationship with you so I can trust you. Life is a series of decisions. My decisions are influenced by how I think which is dependent on the things I allow to influence me, things I see, listen to and the people I choose to do life with. First we form habits but then those habits make or break us depending on if they are good or bad. Lord, open my eyes to see the good things and people I should allow to influence me and to shut the door to everything that ought not to be in my life. I also ask that you help me to influence the people you have placed on my path positively. As you take the lead and I follow you, thank you because every goal shall be achieved, every mission shall be accomplished and no resource shall be wasted. By the grace of God, I am a hearer and doer of the word. Therefore according to James 1:25, I am blessed in all my ways. Also according to Matthew 7:24, because I am a doer of the word, I am wise. Because I am wise, according to Proverbs chapters 3, 4 and 8, I enjoy the peace of God and pleasantness. Also, promotion, honor, longevity, ornament of grace and a crown of glory is my portion. When I walk, I will not stumble and when I run I will not fall because I walk in God's wisdom. This is my daily declaration. My steps are ordered by the Lord, Psalm 32:8. In him, Jesus, I live and move and have my being. Acts 17:28. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. Romans 8:37. All things are working for my good. Romans 8:28. God is a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. Psalm 3:3. The shout of rejoicing and salvation shall never cease from my household. Psalm 118:15. I am strong, not in myself, but in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians 6:10. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all through this year. Psalm 23:6. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I am fruitful. I prosper in all I do. Psalm 13. 
I am blessed and highly favored, Deuteronomy 28, 1 14. I receive grace to take time to meditate on God's word because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word, Romans 10 17. Faith pleases God, Hebrews 11 6. All things are possible to those who believe, Mark 9 23. As I build my faith by spending time meditating on God's word, I will see God's glory in every situation because Jesus said in John 11:40, If you believe, you shall see the glory of the Lord. Finally, I am a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, I have been brought out of darkness into his marvelous light, 1 Peter 2 9. My hopes shall not be dashed, my faith will not fail and I will be steadfast in my walk with God. I will start this year well and I will finish strong in the name of Jesus. Amen.